or not to go play in a true road environment with a big crowd again. Oh, super excited. You know, like I know Coach mentioned, this is kind of how it started in 2019. And we got to go down there, and the fans are all over you down at Oklahoma State, about maybe 10 yards. So play a good 3-0 team. We're super excited. Um, Noah, I guess, invented the term revenge tour. Everybody's <laughs> talking about it now. What, what's, what's, what's it about that phrase that makes it so easy to relate to? Well, just like he, like he says, it's like when the bus never stops on a revenge tour. So you win a game, you put it, put it behind you, and just keep going Monday through Friday. What kind of stands out to you about Oklahoma State's defense from what you've seen so far? Aggression every year. They play hard. You know, Coach Cundy's a great coach. He's going to have them locked in, ready to go. You know, I think Coach Mess is going to doing a great job so far. You know, only having a Monday practice, just throwing in the schemes, having different plays, different opportunities for players. But Oklahoma's going to be a good team. Oklahoma State is going to be a good team. <laughs> is, there, is there extra motivation for you guys being that you've lost to them the last couple of years? Oh, yeah. We, I mean, player by player, you, are, you can always think of that. You know, you always want to get your revenge on teams. Like he said, a revenge tour. Some of these teams, we need to go through and beat them, especially with the, uh, the fans. We know it's going to be a loud environment, so we're just excited to get an opportunity. What, what stands out to you the most about that game last year when you think back to it? <laughs> that was a close one. I uh, I thought, you know, watching film back on it, we we had a great game. We had a great scheme. We just, you know, we need to keep finishing plays, just execute when we have the opportunity and make big plays, and I think we'll do well. What kind of mindset as an offense do you need to take in the games when you know you're going to run the ball, the defense knows you're going to run the ball, but you can keep moving the chains? You know, I was just talking to someone about that, and it's kind of like each player has passion on our team, and I truly believe that from – the starters to the second string, we all own our role. You know, if you own your role, I think you have the ability to do anything with some great backs behind us. Like, obviously, y'all know, y'all seen Joe run the ball now lately. Deuce has been doing this for two years. We're going to get Jacardia right the ball more. And when you have people like that, it makes it so easy to do your job. As a fullback, is this your kind of game? It's all about, you know, two really good defenses. Teams that really want to run the ball. Does this kind of seem tailor-made for you almost? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm excited for this. You know, I know, like I said, they're aggressive defense, so they're going to come. But we're going to show, we're going to line up in positions where they may know the play, and we're just going to go head on head, one v one, and see see who's got the better guy. What's your perspective on how well Deuce is playing right now? Man, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that sticks out to me the most about Deuce is when he came in here. That man acts like a pro. He's a pro on and off the field in the books. I mean, he comes to interviews. I watch his interviews. Those are, he's a pro. He's just simply a pro. They did a good job with him growing up, and that man's amazing and super easy to play for. One of the most selfless guys I've ever met. What do you like about the diamond formation when you get put in there? It's just fun being back there with two great athletes. <laughs> I can't lie. Just or three with the quarterback there. But, I mean, just seeing space, knowing, like, the play beforehand, getting to read it from a different angle. And then understanding, like, I'll probably have this guy, but if something else happens, you have space and time to see the picture change. What's the difference between the Jackson team we're talking to now and the one that stepped foot in Manhattan day one? Uh, leadership, really. The coach has changed me a lot. Just, like, understanding what the game's really all about, understanding your role, um, just loving the game and passion with, the, with my brothers. Uh, with COVID being such a weird season, just – now, like being being together, having a fall camp, just learning the offense, learning everything, and then I got to give a lot of credit to Coach True, Coach Dawson had me right too, but Coach True's been he's been working us. <laughs> How much has your body changed? You look a little bit slimmer here. I mean, not here, but <laughs> yeah, a lot, really a lot. I mean, just with speed and everything. Like I think this past week I hit like a 19.6 on my catapult, which was my which was my highest. I'm up to 2.43. Um, my body fat's lower than it's ever been, and just in the weight room, I feel good. I feel recovered, and it's already three games in the season. What was the biggest difference in Will Howard from the Southern Illinois game to the Nevada game? Was it just getting those week of reps? I think I think so. I think it was the week of reps. You know, Will has a bunch of confidence. 
and we also want to give Will that confidence and say, hey, man, you do your role and we'll do ours. And that's just, I think, his mentality. He has a great mentality towards the game and confidence in himself. And I think just getting some more reps, just understanding that it's his turn now, I think that's all he needed. How much are you looking forward to, to playing on this kind of an environment after you guys didn't get that opportunity last year? Very excited. So I did get to go down there my freshman year, and I remember, like I said earlier, like the fans are like maybe 10 yards away from the from the people you hear them. They got a nice little screen that you'll see everything. And just going to a new road game or going on a road game and having that atmosphere, it's going to be great. Uh, we're going to have to be extra locked in on offense with our snap calls and everything, being loud, communicating. But I'm excited. It's going to be fun. I know coaches talk about using the noise in practice. Like how? Yeah. How closely can you actually replicate what it's like on the road with the, the noise in practice? You know, you can do well. You can put as big as speakers right behind our thing and try. But I think the biggest thing is how locked in you are into the game. You know, like Coach always emphasizes that. It's just like practice, really. We practice hard, so we understand that aspect of it. But just getting out there, understanding that, like, the guy next to him is going to do his role, listen to the cadence, and do your job, and then you'll be fine.